Reese, could you walk us through that set you guys ran coming out of the last TV timeout when you found Isaac in the right corner for the three-pointer that he made, I think, to bump you guys up to a four-point lead? Yeah, that was um, one of our sets that Coach Bennett drew up for us, you know, reject um, ball screen to the baseline with a flare screen in the back end. Um, it worked perfectly. So, you know, we work on those at practice, and, and it showed how we executed today. It's great. Freeze, what was your level of surprise when Tony got teed up? You've been playing for a long time. Uh, what, was, what was the level of surprise where you guys – what, what was the reaction? It caught me off guard a little bit just because, I don't know, I just felt like that tech wasn't worthy of a tech. You know, in all my years, I don't think I've seen him get one. So – that was interesting to see, but I don't know. I think it gave us a, and some energy. You know, we see him fired up. Everybody else is like, okay, let's let's get fired up with him. So, you know, that was it was good and bad for us. There were a lot of this was alumni week. It is alumni week, and there are a lot of former players here, including some guys like Kihei and Trey. You played with. Does it mean anything more to come away with a win in front of those guys, knowing they're watching? Um. Yeah. You know, they came back. You know, they they built this program. You know, so just to come out, and get the win, to see, you know, that they left something good behind. You know, it means a lot. You know, so Kia has been with us at practice. You know, I love playing with him again. Um. You know, one of the quicker guys that you know I ever had to guard. So it's always a challenge with him. But it's been fun to see them. You know, probably hang out there with a little bit later today and just have some fun. Like Reese, you guys gave up ten threes to this team in the first meeting. You gave up fourteen to Pitt. Um, you were on Salas more tonight than in the first meeting. What was better defensively? What did you like that you guys did against them, particularly on the perimeter? Um, I just think overall our ball screen defense was much better today. You know, I think since that game, um, the, that weight game, and like a little bit after that, we took you know a big shift in our defense and ramped, ramped it up. So I think since then we've been continuing to you know work on things. I know Pitt they hit a lot of shots for us, but today we um, got back into our defensive mindset. Like, what what was kind of the feeling among the team about the struggles at the line today? Uh, is poor free throw shooting contagious in a day like this? Um, I didn't even realize how bad we shot until after the game, um, looking at it. But, I mean, we practice it every day. Um, we do stuff after practice. You know, we compete, try to get that mindset. You know, today they just didn't fall. But, you know, we'll get back to it, keep working on it, and we'll knock them down the next game. Blake, you're almost done with your first year. Uh, you've had to guard a lot of different big guys in the ACC. Where does Reed rank among all those guys? No, he's big. You know, he's he's strong. He's physical. Um, you know, he's he's tall. So it's just you know doing trusting my teammates that they're gonna help me out. Um, but really, just do one on one and do everything I can just to to make it tough. You know, he's he's gonna get a shot up, but as long as I can just make it tough, get the rebound. Um, that's all I need to do. So. Like, what does it do for your confidence to be on the court in a key moment like that and then to make the play you made? Um, yeah, it helps out a lot. Uh, you know, my confidence has been in a good spot lately. Um, just continue to just kind of just keep working at it and, you know, do what I need to do to help the team out. Um, but it was just, it was working out today. You know, some games I think it's going to be Jordan, you know, that's playing well. Um, it's just, you know, kind of back and forth, but we both can do great things. But um, it just, yeah, it helps out a lot for sure. Yeah, Reese, just you had a possession there in the second half where you, you're guarding Hunter Salas for most of the game, and then he switches off, and Ryan Dunn's guarding him. Mm -hmm. I've got a shot clock violation on that play. What has y'all's communication been like? Obviously, y'all have had you know, elite numbers individually, defensively, but just kind of how y'all have kind of brought that together. Um, yeah, you know, it was got a late shot clock, and, you know, it was a you know, late situation. And, you know, I trust our D to guard, you know, anybody in the country. So that switch wasn't, you know, it was a good switch, and he, you know, he's he had a crazy game today defensively. Um, with a with seven blocks right here, so he when he's dialed in, you know, I trust him against anybody. So, you know, we I, I trust all the guys. So it's just you know believing in everybody and just playing team defense. Reese, you have the, the quick turnaround now in Virginia Tech, who you already faced. They're another team that's very capable from three. Mm -hmm. um, what is kind of your recollection of that matchup? What will be important Monday night? Um, yeah, I think we'll go back and look. 
to what was successful our first game. You know, that was still a go close game here. But, you know, I think we just got to come with the right mindset. You know, it's a quick turnaround, like you said. And, you know, it's hard to play in that environment. So we just got to come, you know, get off to a good start and, you know, try to get to shooters, like you said. Reese, you mentioned the crazy game that Ryan had def defensively. Mm -hmm. How does having a shot blocker of that capability impact how you guys guard the perimeter? I mean, yeah, it allows us to be um, aggressive, you know, that, and our coaches preach on that. So and if, in case there is a breakdown or something, somehow somebody gets to the rim, we have Ryan back there for, you know, what we've seen with seven blocks. So, you know, we trust him back there. We trust all the guys back there. So. We just it allows us to play um, higher up and make you know defenses more much more higher. Yeah, we heard from Blake a little bit on the three throws, but Reese, for you, how much harder does it make it, make it to close out on a team as good as Wake when you're not when you just go what one for eleven on on the three throw line? Yeah, I think it just puts you know much more pressure on us on the defensive end. You know, just makes us have to you know buckle down and get more stops. I mean, you know. Um, fortunately, today we did that. Um, you know, some games it might not always be like that. So we just want to, you know, Coach Bennett says always learn, and we're going to learn from a win or a loss. So we'll take it, but just learn from it. Yeah, Blake, you mentioned, you know, one night it could be you, one night it could be Jordan down low. How have you guys helped each other? What have you learned from him as an older guy? How's that relationship gone as, as the season's gone along? Uh, it's been good. I mean, we're always together in practice. You know, we're competing against each other. We're working on defense together, you know, post trap, all that different type of stuff. Uh, but really just like learning how he guards. Uh, you know, he's, he's been really good down low for us, watching what he does, um, and just trying to learn from that. So when I go in, I'm ready. Um, but, you know, we as the season's going on, like, we're getting, we're getting comfortable with each other, you know. Um, it's, it's been good, though, just just learning from him. So, you know, he has so much experience for being a, being a fifth year, so it's great. Blake, uh, 12 points for Efton Reed, but six of those came right out of the shoot. What, if anything, did you guys do differently to really control his impact? Oh, uh, just make it difficult on him. Um, you know, we're we're really going one on one in the post. So as long as we can just make it hard for him, you know, we have our, our primitive players, you know, kind of help us out. Um, but as long as we can just make it difficult, we live with the tough shots. Um, it was got a rebound. So. Okay, last one. Yeah, Reese. Uh, Coach Forbes told us that the that last play was not supposed to go to. Uh, Hildreth was supposed to go to Hunter Salas. What did you do on the inbounds to keep him away from the ball? Um, I think when he drove down, I kind of, you know, read the play that they had going. Um, it was kind of like a dry baseline to like a field behind. So, you know, I just, I trust the RD in that situation to stay in front of um, Hildreth and kind of went the passing lane a little bit so he didn't get a catch. But, you know, it was just, you know, we work on transition defense every day and, and that, that was um, that on that last possession. Thank you. Thank you.